Hi, this is Rick Carlesco. Um, I happen to come across a really good email today that I really do have to read for everybody because I, I think it, it's it's not only funny, but I think it really hits the point. So bear with me while I read this. Dear American liberals, leftists, social progressives, socialists, Marxists, Obama supporters, and others, we've stuck together since the late 1950s for the sake of the kids. But for the whole of this latest election process has made me realize that I want a divorce. Now, I know we've not tolerated to each other for many years for the sake of future generations, but sadly this relationship has run its course. Uh, our two ideological sides of America cannot and will never agree on what is right for all of us. So let's just end it on friendly terms. We can smile, chalk it up to irreconcilable differences, and go our own way. Here is a model separation agreement. Our two groups, groups can equitably divide up the country by land mass each taking a similar portion. That will be the difficult part. I am sure our two sides can come to a friendly agreement. After that, it should be relatively easy. Our respective representatives can effortlessly divide the other assets since both sides of us has such distinct and disparate tastes. We don't like redistributive taxes, so you can keep them. You are welcome to liberal judges in the ACLU since you hate guns and war. We'll take our firearms, the cops, the NRA, and the military. We'll take the nasty, smelly oil industry, and you can go with wind, solar, and biodiesel. You can keep Oprah, Michael Moore, and Rosie O'Donnell. However, you're responsible for finding a biodiesel vehicle big enough to move all three of them. We'll keep capitalism, greedy corporations, pharmaceutical companies, Walmart, and Wall Street. You can have your beloved lifelong welfare dwellers, food stamps, homeless, homeboys, hippies, druggies, and illegal aliens. We'll keep the hot, Alaskan hockey moms, greedy CEOs, and rednecks. We'll keep Bibles and we'll give you NBC and Hollywood. You can make uh, nice with Iran and Palestine. We'll retain the right to invade and hammer places that threaten us. You can have the peaceniks and the war protesters. When our allies or our way of life are under assault, we'll help provide security. We'll keep our Judeo-Christian values you are welcome to Islam, Scientology, Humanism, Political Correctness, and Shirley MacLaine. You can also have the UN, but we'll no longer be paying the bill. We'll keep the SUVs, pickup trucks, and oversized luxury cars, and you can take every Prius you can find. You can give everyone health care you can, if you can find any practicing uh, doctors. We'll continue to believe in health care is a luxury and not a right. We'll keep the Battle Hem of the Republic and the National Anthem. I'm sure you'll be happy to substitute Imagine, I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing, and Kumbaya, or We Are the World. We'll practice trickle-down economics, and you can continue to give trickle-up poverty your best shot. Since it so often offends you, we'll keep our history, our name, and our flag. Uh, hopefully you would agree to this. If so, pass it along to other like-minded liberals and conservative patriots. If you do not agree, just hit the delete button. In the spirit of our uh, friendly party, I'll bet you which one of us is going to need who's help in 15 years. This is sincerely John J. Wall, law student and American. Also, please take Ted Turner, Sean Penn, Martin Sheen, Barbara Streisand, and Jane Fonda with you. And, um, if you, and by the way, when you call our country, you're not going to have to press one for English. Um, listen, I thought this was great. That's why I wanted to pass along. And uh, if you like this too, send this video to some of your friends. By the way, this is Rick Carlesco. Thank you and God bless.